Hello and welcome to a little video about Oman. Uh, I think Oman is a pretty interesting country. It has uh, some trade posts, colonies and most significantly it has Zanzibar which actually amounts to uh, the vast majority of its population. Now if you've ever paid attention to Oman during the game and you haven't just uh, conquered them immediately, you may have noticed that Zanzibar eventually becomes independent. That's because of the Fracturing Oman journal entry, which triggers when its starting sultan dies. Now, the journal entry doesn't give a whole lot of clues as to how we can prevent it from triggering. It just says there's a condition for completing. But we can in fact prevent this. Uh, there are two main options. We can either stop being a monarchy, which is fairly easy. We can uh, just try to enact one of these other things. Uh, the landowners will get upset. There will be a civil war, which can easily win by just dismantling the uh, barracks and naval bases in Zanzibar and then uh, you'll have all your military because Oman will always stay loyal. But that's not what we're going to do here today. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to try to form Yemen. Uh, I suppose technically forming Arabia would work as well, but that's going to be a little bit more difficult as we'll have to take land off of Egypt and the Ottomans. Uh, forming Yemen is uh, definitely a lot more feasible. Now we're going to uh, improve relations with the major countries in the uh, region. That would be the Ottomans, Egypt and the British. And we'll also try to uh, make sure that we get rid of our infamy. Now one thing I like to do is to try to antagonize the Trucial states and head just, just to see if they might be inclined towards joining one of the wars we're starting of course on the opposing side uh, but I never do in my experience but hey we can always hope anyway I'll just try to conquer some of these neighbors and um, we will also start building up our military as we do need some stronger armies to be able to take Hejaz uh, so for that purpose we are building up our barracks. We're also going to try to take some land in Arabia to build barracks there as well. What we will not be doing is getting a border with Hejaz or Egypt as that it would cause us some problems. Um, yeah, we'll have those barracks. Uh, we'll also eventually want to have a uh, arms industry and tools workshop. And we'll just put those behind the barracks and um, I think we're uh, almost good to unpause. We should probably also import some artillery for our troops. I'll probably appreciate that. We'll start two of those trade routes and uh, of course let's not forget to also of course get some technology going for the military technology first as we'll definitely need those and uh, let's see we have an isolated state that's probably not going to be a too significant problem for us as uh, Bahrain they'll build a port and then when we conquer them they'll uh, make sure the Trucio coast is not isolated anymore let's also add a couple of consumption taxes just to uh, get some money while we can because um, all those barracks are going to get expensive we'll also while we still have that income build ourselves a construction sector eventually we may have to dismantle that as um, having all these barracks is going to get rather expensive over time anyway I'll just uh, leave the game running a bit and uh, get back to you when we are ready to take Hejaz.
All right, I think we are about ready to start messing with Egypt. Um, unfortunately, I accidentally raised our relations with Egypt a little bit too high. So uh, maybe we should just expel their diplomats. Um, let's see how much infamy we would get from conquering Hejaz Yemen and Hejaz. Yeah, I think we can uh, afford that. So we'll just expel their diplomats. And this way we can uh, declare a conquer state war on Hejaz. If we didn't do that, then we would have to declare a humiliate war on Hejaz. And then we can only add one conquer state afterwards. Not quite sure why it is that way, but it just is. Uh, also, we want to make sure that our Arabia general sends his troops back to Persia, otherwise things will be quite disastrous. We also want to have our ships patrol the coast of Arabia. Uh, they probably won't be able to stop stop any Egyptian uh, invasions, but they'll uh, delay them a little bit, hopefully. And in the meantime, we just keep building barracks in Arabia. Now, the reason for that is, of course, to increase the amount of troops we have in Arabia to uh, fight off the Egyptian naval invasions. And um, we're just going to sit here. Uh, you might wonder uh, how we are going to win this war if we're just going to sit here. And that is quite simple. Our war support is kept at zero due to their Omani war reparations war goal on us. Their war support is not capped, and the reason for that is that all of our war goals are on Hejaz, which is not negotiating, because they are a subject of Egypt, whose war support can drop down to minus 100 due to no war goals on them. Uh, we also have an extra little benefit currently going on, and that is the fact that the Ottomans have begun a war with Egypt. That means that Egypt will probably be too distracted to start any naval invasions on us. Shouldn't be an issue if they do do naval invasions, but this just makes things a little bit safer. And of course, since we have our war, we can stop damaging relations with Egypt. We want to bring them back up after this war so that uh, hopefully they don't intervene when we try to take the rest of Yemen. And we'll just uh, let the game uh, run for a bit, and uh, hopefully nothing bad will happen. And there we have it, peace with Egypt. It was less eventful than expected. Normally Egypt will try to attempt some naval invasions on you, um, which is actually what you kind of want, as uh, your troops should be more than strong enough to beat said naval invasions. And by killing their troops, their war support will go down faster. But in the end, this did work. We'll just put down a save as this is uh, been quite a wait and we don't want to have to go back. So now that we have beaten Egypt we just have Lahej and the Kazimid states remaining for us to conquer. Let's uh, make sure our budget is a little bit more balanced while we do that. And let's also start using line infantry. Um, that's going to absolutely destroy our income. So we do want to see where we can save some. We could save some on our construction goods. And let's go ahead and uh, declare a, a war. Let's start with Lahej so that hopefully we can make sure uh, there's no more coast for other countries to 
take and then we can have the casemate state all to ourselves And with that, we can form Yemen. And this will also remove the journal entry. So now we get to keep Zanzibar, though of course at this point it is only about a quarter of our population. Still, nice way to uh, make sure you keep your interest in East Africa. And a uh, nice little power base for forming Arabia. As a little bonus, we even got the Trucial States because they joined in the last war for Yemen. Uh, of course, at this point, our uh, economy isn't looking too great thanks to all those barracks we have. So we would probably want to get rid of some barracks if we wanted to continue this so we can uh, actually properly start building up our economy. But with that, I hope uh, this is useful for you if you uh, decide to play as Oman or even any of the other Arabian states that might want to form Yemen that uh, don't have a border with Hejaz or Egypt. And maybe about 50 years later your country will look like this and then you can go ahead and form Arabia having started as Oman rather than the more typical Egypt. With that said, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.